Okay, so here's Sarah, and she's going to show us the proper technique of how to streak a, uh, a petri dish with auger with E. coli. You notice how she's the pen's representing the inoculating loop, and so she's spreading the E. coli out, and then she rotated it 45 degrees, and then she makes another streak right there. The idea is to get individual colonies to grow that are not competing with one another, and so that's well done. So I think that's a good image, you know, so now she's going to show the real thing. So she's going to reach over and grab her starter plate and uh, a nice fresh um, inoculating loop that's sterile, making sure that she opens it on the right side like that. So she opens it up and then she's also opening up her, her vial containing hydrated E. coli cells. And so she pulls that out and now she's dipping it in. Notice how she's making sure that she's got uh, liquid on the outside of the loop right there. That's well done. She opens up the dish. And so she's going to employ the same streaking technique that you saw earlier on the paper. Notice the, the, that nice 45 degree rotation. So mm -hmm. she's got one more and then she rota rotates it one more time. That's really well done. And then the cap goes back on or the, or the top to the Petri dish. She returns the inoculating loop back in returns the cap to the E. coli and so this petri dish now is going to be sealed with a little piece of tape on both sides. So she's going to tape the top to the bottom. Excellent. Now if, if this uh, dish, uh, once the E. coli grows up, this could be stored in the refrigerator and then you'd want to use parafilm. And so she's going to now walk it over to our incubator. And so here's our 37 degree incubator. And so she's going to place it in, but notice how she places it in upside down, so it's top down, so that the condensation doesn't interfere with the bacteria growing. So we're going to grow this starter plate for 24 hours, and then we're going to transfer it to a liquid LB broth.